Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit a tenant's lease on Tenant Cloud. To get started, simply go over to the Contacts tab on the left side menu, or simply type in the tenant's name in the search bar at the top of the page, and then select the View Profile button. From here, we'll go to the Leases tab, where you'll notice that we have an active lease at Grove Street. We'll select More Details. And from here, you'll see a three dot actions menu button on the right corner. Simply select edit to edit this particular lease. And from here, you'll notice that these are the same five tabs that we went through previously when we moved in this tenant. Now you have the option to edit certain fields on this lease. Keep in mind that if the tenant has e-signed this lease, there may be additional fields that are grayed out that you do not have the option to edit. In this particular case, this tenant did not e-sign this lease, so I do have a few more fields that I can edit than may be otherwise available. From here, we can add co-tenants or add dependents. If we want to add a roommate to this particular lease, we'll simply select a test tenant and we'll click next step. Everything looks good here. We'll select next step and we'll continue on as everything else looks good here. We were simply wanting to add a roommate to this particular lease. We do still want to require tenants rental insurance. In this case, Sandra already provided it, but we do still need it from Chris. So we're gonna require that he provide us with renter's insurance. Select next step. If we do want this to be e-signed by both parties, we can select default signatures, or if we already got signatures outside of the tenant cloud system, we can keep that toggled to no and simply select update. From here, we'll see that the lease is now pending and not active any longer. And that is because Chris Test is required to provide renter's insurance. In the event that you did not intend to make that a requirement in order for this lease to be active again as a part of adding a roommate, or if you already received the renter's insurance outside of Tenant Cloud, simply select edit, go back to the insurance tab, select no, it's not required, select next step, and go back through and update the lease. And once you have updated that information, you'll notice that the lease is now active because you've removed the insurance requirement from your tenant, Chris Test. And you can also select to make sure that this is shared with not just one party, but with both parties. In this case, we'll select share to make sure that both tenants now have a copy of their online lease and have access to pay rent associated with the invoices for this lease, as well as submit maintenance requests. And that is how easy it is to edit your lease on Tenant Cloud. To get started for free, just go to tenantcloud.com and click sign up today.